suspending moment. Instrumentation is active and data is valid. DBM system is fully mission capable. Recommend placard 6 Alpha. ALC. 13 minutes. ALC verified wind monitoring system set for placard 6 Alpha. Roger. Built-in hold, uh, of course, uh, we're still shooting for Riot Mission Manager Brian, Brian, Brian Austin has just completed his poll. All elements reporting to him are go. And so, Ryan, the spacecraft, and we also have the final poll, which is scheduled to occur in about five minutes. There you go. All systems are go, and weather remains green. There you go. Good. Now, the other side of that, you know, there's a lot of clouds up there still, so when that rocket does go up, you may not be able to see it too long, but hopefully you will. As long as we see it. Unlike <laughs> yesterday. That big building that you see in the video screens here, just so you know, that is a mobile service structure, and that is where the rocket... T-minus 3 minutes, 32 seconds, including closing the propellant fill and drain valves. T-minus 3 minutes, 32 seconds. CBC propellant tank secured started. Yeah. Good. Vehicle transfer internal complete. A live shot from Jetty Park. Visitors and locals, campers, fishers, space aficionados. All gathered to watch today's launch. CBC pre press started. T minus 307. Vehicle ordnance system will be armed, and the common booster core liquid oxygen and hydrogen prop tanks are being verified. Army. T minus 2 minutes, 50 seconds. Common booster core tank is secured. Ordnance is armed. T minus two minutes, 31 seconds and counting. At two minutes prior to liftoff, the team will verify that the hydraulic system is pressurized and confirm the common booster core delta the CSS and flight termination system battery voltages. So then we got yesterday, huh? And T minus one minute, Woo! 20 seconds. The team will begin securing the second stage liquid hydrogen tank. And when it goes up, T -minus remember, one minute, 40 we're seconds. on a delay on the screens. Look at the rocket on the pad. And you're going to see the big flash going off the pad. T okay, minus 20 one minute, seconds. 30 seconds. OLC, and, uh, Orion Nav. And is it 20 second delay? Complete. LC, this is OLC. Orion Nav transition is complete. Good. 120. Oh my god. Stop hitting me. The sound. Sorry. Oh my god. What? There it goes. That's it. Wow. 
There it goes. Oh, Ryan. You see on the screens, it's still on the top. Oh, my God. There it goes. Launch of America's uh, first step to go to Mars, Orion spacecraft. Woo! You're going to hear the rumble here in a minute. It's going to rumble right over here in a second. T-minus 20 seconds. Seconds go to max Q and uh, breaking the sound barrier. Just under four minutes after the launch, it will uh, have the two solid rocket uh, the boosters, not solid rocket, but the booster cores will come off. And then the main center core will remain on. We have the hydrazine supply valve open in the second stage. Seconds in. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Max Q, passing 124, Mach 1. Sound barrier, Mach 1. Now transcending the speed of sound. 1 minute, 31 seconds in. Footage in control on the first stage. Coming up, 1 minute, 40 seconds. Got a great view on the screen. You got a camera on the rocket there. Pretty good. Spectacular in three, three. Oh, what happened to our speed here? Oh, come on. Well, at 3:58, three minutes 58 seconds, if we get the feedback up here, we oh should be able to see the uh, the uh, the two boosters. separation of the two booster cores, that should be pretty spectacular. Three minutes, one second into the flight. Still looking good. Passing Mach 5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. 
Less than one half minute remains on three booster point. Three minutes, 30 seconds out. We're standing by for the uh, command to go to the partial thrust mode in the port and starboard booster. That command should occur about 10 seconds from now. And we have chamber pressure holding it very well in a port booster as we're approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes into the flight, standing by to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. Okay, we're, we're in the transition period, getting close to five or six control. minutes. When the, the boosters come off and the upper stage will ignite, the bearings come off, in. and the upper stage engine will ignite in a short And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down, as expected, standing by from Miko. We have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for stage separation. There it goes. Each has stage separation. <laughs> This is deploying, the nozzle has been extending, standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and we have ignition, ignition on the second stage. Second stage. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. Look, there it goes. The uh, service panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. Yes. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and uh, from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished, and we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, now 127 miles in altitude, some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Where's it at? Where do you say? Where do you say? Seven, 700 miles down range. That's not far. Apparently some of the key functions, the systems, the, the big tubes, the big cores have come off the upper stage. Reports here at Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, systems are Whoa. up and running in good shape. The uh, launch abort system, the thing on the this top. This view once again of the uh, service jettison, module like ferry panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, 142 statute miles in altitude. Almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Things moving. Somewhere around GPS 1130, systems on Orion, that's when it's going to do the splashdown. Have come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight. The upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now, traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it began.
we have igniter spot. And we have ignition, ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. This is the second burn of the second stage. It's the last uh, four minutes, 42 seconds. Chamber pressure is stable. Engine control is good. One minute, 55 seconds. A correction, one hour, 55 minutes, 53 seconds into the flight. About four minutes remaining in the barn. Continuing to look good. Chamber pressure is holding like we want to be good engine control. Your yeah, altitude just climbed good. About three minutes, 45 seconds remaining on the burn. It's 900 miles, dude. See the numbers clicking up. Very stable. Velocity increasing to 27,000 feet per second. One hour, 57 minutes, 10 seconds in the floor. Continues to look good. And we're perfect. Continuing to look good. Good control. One hour, 57 minutes, 30 seconds. Houston, uh, the flight dynamics officer, Mark McDonald, reporting to flight director Mike Serafin that we had a perfect second stage restart burn uh, that lasted four minutes and 40 seconds in duration. The burn was initiated at uh, right on time, uh, just uh, off the northern coast of South America, north of uh, Guyana. And now Orion is beginning to climb away from Earth, uh, heading uh, for a peak altitude uh, that uh, will result in it uh, arriving at about uh, 3,630 miles away from the planet uh, at its peak altitude opportunity just about an hour uh, from now. Uh, it is at that point that it will begin uh, to uh, uh, complete its uh, furthest transit away from the Earth and uh, make all of the preparations essential uh, for its high-speed return back to Earth and a splashdown under three main parachutes in the Pacific 
some 600 miles uh, west of Baja, California.